So what are traditional robotics? Well, traditional robotics have been developed uh, ever since the early 60s to really serve the automotive industry. They're large, they're heavy, but they do a really good job at quickly moving pieces and parts in and out of a work cell to perform some, some meaningful task. Very repetitive, very structured. They rely on being indoors in nice, clean light. Very few solutions have been developed to explore applications that exist outdoors in an unstructured setting. That's where RE Squared actually got its start, helping to serve applications in the defense industry. So now we're able to take that technology that uh, started outdoors, where soldiers had to literally backpack in these systems. So they're very optimized around their weight, their power density and their power consumption. So those are cr critical aspects in just about every one of our um, new applications where it's opening up a whole new set of solutions for uh, new customers in a variety of different industries ranging from energy to aerospace to medical applications where they're seeking sleeker, smaller uh, technologies that deliver similar uh, power capabilities to those traditional systems but in a much more unstructured environment. That's enabling them to tackle applications that they haven't been able to previously address where they might have to rely on a fixed infrastructure uh, that's been in existence ever since the early 1910s or 1950s. Now they're able to uh, augment their labor staff with robotic assistance in, in the way of uh, helping to alleviate a lot of those manual tasks where they're able to kind of dump off more of the brute force efforts on robots and leave more of the cognitive higher level functions to human staff that oversee those robots in each of their respective industries.